This video is sponsored by Bookmark.com. Build your AI-powered website for free at the link in the description below. Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. When building your online brand, one of the things you explore is the best solution for custom email hosting. Who doesn't want a rad email like your name at yourdomain.com? It makes you look more professional to clients, and I highly recommend taking the step of getting a custom email. Should you use Google Workspace? or Microsoft 365 for business. That's what I'm breaking down today, so let's jump right into it. Starting off with Google Workspace, you can get a 14-day free trial with plans starting at $6 a month. The starter plan includes 30 gigabytes of storage to use across Gmail, Google Drive, and all Google apps. $12 a month gets you two terabytes of storage and additional participants and features for Google's video meeting solution. $18 a month for Business Plus includes five terabytes of storage, more features for video meetings, and enterprise features like enhanced security management. Google Workspace gives you a custom email address via Gmail, and it more or less feels identical to a free Gmail account except without ads. Google has an amended privacy policy outlining they do not share your data with advertisers on Google Workspace accounts. You can access Google Drive, Google Docs, and everything you'd come to expect from Google. There are some proprietary applications exclusive to Workspace like Google Currents, but I haven't heard of anyone who has sold on Google Workspace specifically because of Currents. Like seriously, they just recycled the Google Plus code, slapped an enterprise label on it, and called it a day. Is anyone even using this? Anyway, I think for most of us watching, we generally know the pros and cons to having email hosting by Google, and a lot of it comes down to a cost analysis question. Is it worth paying $6 a month per email address to have your email hosted by Google? In my opinion, Google has the best spam filter in the industry. They also have unmatched reliability, and where else can you get that clean and smooth gmail.com experience for your corporate email account? I will say this, you don't need a Google Workspace account to access Google products and services under your custom email address. What does this mean? Well, Google Workspace accounts are really for that email hosting powered by Gmail, plus exclusive Workspace apps like Google Currents. But if you're after the free Google apps like Google Drive, Google Docs, and Google Calendar, you can actually use that under a your name at yourdomain.com email address. You will just have to have your email hosted elsewhere. So you can't go to gmail.com to check your email, Google isn't hosting your email, but you still can send Google Calendar invites from your company email, share Google Docs from your company email, etc. And you can do all of this for free without paying for Google Workspace. However, Google Workspace is worth it to me for the security features alone. I know that my email account is well protected thanks to the ability to use a physical two-factor authentication key. This is something Microsoft 365 also offers, but in the conversation of using Google Workspace or Microsoft 365 versus some no-name email hosting, these security features are significant. The only way someone is getting into my Google account is by guessing my password on top of having access to this physical security key. Without it, no one is getting in anytime soon. And these security features are something I want protecting my email address. I also appreciate that Google Workspace allows you to add custom branding with your company logo. And speaking of branding, if you want a custom email address, you probably want an amazing website too. You can build a free website in minutes using bookmark.com, the sponsor of today's video. All you need to do is answer a few easy questions about your business, and Bookmark's AI design assistant harnesses the power of a global team at the click of your mouse. Seriously, I was able to build a website with Bookmark in less than the time it took me to set up Google or Microsoft email hosting. Unlock your full potential with bookmark.com and spend your time running your business. Get a special discount at the link in the description below. Thanks to bookmark.com for supporting the channel, and now let's take a look at Microsoft 365 email hosting. Microsoft 365 Business offers a one month free trial with plans starting at $6 a month or $60 a year. So you get double the free trial length and there's an annual discount available. Google Workspace doesn't offer any annual discount, so it's nice to see Microsoft offering a cheaper package. 
All three plans come with the same 50 gigabytes of email storage and one terabyte of OneDrive storage. Unlike a Google account, which leverages the same pool of storage across email, Google Drive, and all other Google apps, Microsoft has allotted 50 gigabytes for use just with your email address. You can then access one terabyte of storage in your OneDrive account for storing files. This is both a plus and a downside. It's great to have one terabyte of OneDrive storage on the $6 a month plan, but if you move to higher tier plans, you don't get any additional storage like you would at Google Workspace. Additionally, I wonder about the practical usability of OneDrive. I'm sure it's a solid cloud storage solution, and it may be great for internal use with other employees in your company, but most people generally expect file delivery via Google Drive or Dropbox. OneDrive is definitely the odd one out, and for that reason, I don't see this one terabyte of storage being as valuable as having one terabyte of storage on a Google account. And let's talk email storage. You're stuck at 50 gigabytes of space. Would you ever exceed that? Probably not. I mean, it would be extremely rare. You'd have to be receiving emails with giant attachments constantly without ever clearing out your inbox. But still, something bothers me about not being able to utilize OneDrive space as storage and Outlook. On Google Workspace, everything's a unified experience, so if you have five terabytes of storage on your Google account, you could store up to five terabytes of email. Again, this is excessive. Chances are you're not gonna exceed 50 gigabytes of email storage, but I just wish that it was all one storage amount, just like you get with Google Workspace. Microsoft 365 email hosting gives you custom email hosting powered by Outlook Online, and you can access online versions of Office apps like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel with the base plan. Similar to Google Workspace, you could sign up for a free Microsoft account using your domain email address hosted elsewhere and still access Word Online, OneDrive, and other free Microsoft services. However, in this scenario, your $6 monthly payment adds quite a bit. Not only do you get email hosting powered by Outlook, you also get that one terabyte of OneDrive space, plus upgraded access to Microsoft Teams. With the free version of Microsoft Teams, you're limited to 100 participants for online meetings, and meetings can't go longer than 60 minutes. With the basic $6 a month plan in Microsoft 365, you can have up to 300 participants and meet for as long as 24 hours. All of these features come in the base plan of Microsoft 365, but if you move up to the next plan for $15 per month per user, you unlock access to the desktop suite of Office apps. This means you can use the traditional version of Word, PowerPoint, and Excel on your Mac or Windows computer. Microsoft also offers superior branding options, as you can completely customize the sign-in screen for users. This is actually a great security enhancement. It may seem silly that adding your logo is a security feature, but it helps protect against phishing attempts. In a world where hackers are trying to get you to accidentally enter your email and password into a generic fake Microsoft sign-in page or Google sign-in page, users would immediately pick up on the fact that your logo isn't present on the sign-in page and they could clue in that the page is fake. This is a security advantage you won't find with Google Workspace. Microsoft 365 appears to be a better value on paper thanks to the one terabyte of OneDrive storage, annual discount, and access to Microsoft Teams. However, it's hard to beat the power and reliability of Gmail, and having a custom email address hosted on Google's platform is highly enticing. At the end of the day, I think Google Workspace is great for single custom email addresses and small teams who enjoy Google's apps and services, and I think Microsoft 365 is better for large corporations and universities. The ability to have access to desktop office apps on the middle plan is something that would appeal to universities, and the extra branding and security benefits on the sign-in page would be great for large corporations. It all comes down to personal preference. I personally enjoy Google services and use Google Workspace for my Krayler Media emails. However, I know some people are enthusiastic about Microsoft's email and services and want to be in that camp. Both are solid platforms that are going to give you solid, reliable custom email hosting. If you don't care about the Google or Microsoft experience and just want simple, decent email hosting, I recommend Namecheap Private Email Hosting. 
I use Namecheap's email hosting on my other domains where I don't need mission critical security or all the features that Google has to offer. I'd love to know which platform you prefer. Are you using Google Workspace or Microsoft 365? Definitely be sure to drop a comment below. By the way, if you're a nonprofit organization, you can actually get access to both Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 for free. This is a little known fun fact, and I've actually worked with several nonprofit organizations who were shocked when they found out they could get professional email hosting by Google or Microsoft absolutely free. So if you're a church or nonprofit, definitely be sure to take advantage of that benefit. Also be sure to take advantage of the exclusive bookmark promo code at the link in the description below. Build your website in just a couple minutes. It's free, it's easy, and I think you're gonna love it. If you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time.